Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to use at the rate API decorator in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So as in the previous video, what we did was we called our LWC component that is this LWC component using this aura component and then embedded this aura component over here so as you can see automatically LWC component is getting called even though I have added the aura component now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to pass the current record ID into our LWC component so if you had seen I have passed the record ID as a parameter but it's a hard coded record ID we don't want to pass this hard coded record ID instead what we have to do is I have to pass the record ID dynamically now what do I mean by that is if I am on this page as soon as reload automatically this record this particular record ID should get passed to the LWC component and everything should work same way if I move to some another account then automatically this particular record ID should be uh, fetched and automatically everything should be loaded I should not be passing the record ID dynamically or statically so first we have called our aura com LWC component using the aura component so the first point of contact here is aura component so somehow I have to get the current record ID first using aura component and then I have to pass the same record ID to the LWC component so to get that first we have to use force colon has record ID now using this automatically what happens is your aura component will be able to fetch the current record ID whichever page it is on or whichever button it is on if it is on, it was on new button it would have automatically able to get the record ID or if, you were, if it was on edit button it will be automatically able to get the record ID now okay we get the record ID but how do we get it inside our aura component this is fine this is in the implements how do I get it inside the aura component to do that first I basically want that record ID should be obtained on the load of the component so if you have to handle the functionality on the load of the component in LWC we had wire but in aura component we have aura handler <coughs> the name of the aura handler equals to init action equals to 0 to init and value equals to this so basically what does it mean is this is the name of our aura handler this is basically the name of our aura handler action is when our component is reloaded we want to control the function right for that pur purpose they have provided this action so you can use this two init function you can create a function in javascript and you can handle all the stuff value equals to this represents the instance of your current aura component now in, a head, in order to handle this I will do is I will go to the JavaScript and then I will implement this do init function over here. So to just check whether do init gets called or not, I'm going to add an alert. So as soon as I reload, aura handler is going to work, and as aura handler is going to work, do init is going to work, and do init is going to alert this message so as we can see aura is getting called so automatically everything is working perfectly fine till this point now to get the record id right to get the record id what we can do is we already have added force colon has record id to get the record id we can use where rec id equals to component dot get v dot record id now what happens is force colon has record ID will pass the record ID over here now this is a, a LWC variable or aura variable already available so I have not created this variable this already exists so it will be applicable to your uh, your org my org or any org so we dot record ID I will be able to get this record ID the current record ID and it will be passed to this variable so if I alert it out now If I alert it out, because of uh, as soon as the component is ready, doing it will work. We will get the record ID, and I'm going to print the record ID on the screen. 
so that is that's going to happen so as you guys can see it's automatically able to fetch the current record id over here using this because we have force colon has record id okay it will get the record id and it will pass the record id to this variable which is a salesforce variable or aura component variable and we are getting the value of this variable and storing it within this variable now what i want to do is i want to pass this variable uh, pass this record id to this lwc component so for that first i need to get the variable inside my component part it's it, it's still available in js i have to pass that value to the component part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an aura attribute with name equals to and type equals to so we have created a variable now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the value of this variable with the record id so component dot set b dot account id comma rec id so that is the reason why we call aura component is two-way binded so i can pass the value from aura component to js and also from js to the aura component as well so as you guys can see what I've, I've created a variable on component and i'm still able to set the value of this component from the javascript uh, variable so i'm passing the whatever record id i'm getting over here and passing it to this variable which is a variable of a component now if i have got the values perfectly fine i should be able to print the value right so i'm going to print the value v dot account id so if if the if uh, everything was successful so if everything was successful if i was able to su uh, successfully set the value i should be able to see the account id over here inside the screen so let's see if i'm able to see the account id over here okay i think so it's not reloaded yet If such thing happens, you can hard reload. You can do this empty cache. You can go to the inspect and to the reload, you can hard reload. As you can see, account ID is available to me on the screen. So this means I was successfully able to set the value from JavaScript to the component. Now the last part that I have to do is I have to pass the value from the Aura component to the LWC component. To do that, first I need a certain value, certain variable of LWC component available to the Aura component so that it should be able to set the value from the Aura component to LWC component. So basically, I need a variable from LWC component which is publicly available to the Aura component. So as we know, to make a variable or make a value or make a variable public, we use add the API. I'm going to name it as rec ID. And as I'm implementing this, I will also implement this. Right. So now this rec ID is variable. This is an with the at rate API decorator. This variable is publicly available to all the components. It can be flow, it can be aura component, it can be anything. Right. So it's a publicly available. To make this variable publicly available, we use at rate API decorator. Right. Now to use to pass the value to this variable, we can just use rec ID equals to and whatever we have to pass the value as right. So So what we have basically done is we have passed the current account ID that we have got to this variable which is publicly available to the aura component right which is a variable of LWC component it is a publicly available to the aura component because of at the rate API decorator right now I can directly use this rec ID over here itself dollar rec ID so automatically if I am on certain component automatically it will fetch the ID from the aura component and it will pass it to the LWC component as we have at the rate API decorator variable and this value will be popular this variable will be populated with the current ID and that current ID will be passed as a parameter to our function so this is a practical use of at the rate API decorator this is how you can publicly expose your property and get the value from other components so if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel